Fans can finally get their hands on Kylie Jenner's highly anticipated Kylie swimline, but upon further review, many customers are expressing their disappointment over the swimsuit's alleged poor quality, thin material, and lack of integrity according to their reviews. Let's get into this. Kylie Jenner's business empire is growing at a rapid rate, but after the release of her sexy Kylie swimline, apparently so are the negative reviews. In typical Kylie fashion, she's been teasing the line over the course of the past month via Instagram and finally announced that the first rollout would be available for purchase on September 17th. Fast forward to Kylie's swim release day and the orders came flooding in, ranging from cutout one pieces to sexy barely their bikinis, selling for an average of $85 a pop. After getting their hands on the yellow Kylie swim box, however, many users are posting their reviews of the products to social media, more specifically TikTok, and have a lot to say about so little material. One swimwear designer named Jessica Anderson shared her review to TikTok and Reddit, and before even having tried the one piece on, she pointed out that the material is so thin, you can actually see the Kylie swim tag from the outside of the suit. Jessica also pointed out how narrow the front bottom coverage is compared to other swim bottoms, telling viewers, I just personally don't know anyone's body that this would work for. Jessica then debuted the bathing suit while wearing a bodysuit, which one Reddit user pointed out was very telling that she had to wear something under the suit to model it. Jessica's final verdict was in, and while questioning how she would ever wear this confidently in public, knowing her entire body is on display, she also admitted to being very disappointed in the fact that the suit had no no liner, was completely see-through, and that nobody seemed to catch this major manufacturing flaw, which she thought they must have at some point because she believed they would have had to Photoshop the photos for the campaign so they didn't appear so see-through. One user quoted what Jessica had said commenting on her post, like the reviewer said, it comes down to lack of integrity as a business owner, and that's the reason I will never put Kylie Baby anywhere near my child. I will never trust them to have any type of real transparency. Another TikTok user couldn't even model the suit because of how revealing it was, saying, the material is just paper thin. I get better swimsuits at Target also pointing out that you could see the sewing of the seams. Many viewers in the comments actually compared Kylie's swimline to clothing brand Shein, a fast fashion brand which is known for their reputation of extremely cheap prices and lesser quality clothing. And this TikTok user named Ariel couldn't help but laugh when she first felt the swimsuit after taking it out of the packaging. Okay. <laughs> She's thin, y'all. Oh, my God. Okay. Before even trying the merch on, Ariel also claimed it was see-through and that it gave, quote, stripper store vibes. And once actually putting it on, the same sentiment was felt. I feel like TikTok might kick this down. I don't know, but I just paid $80 for something I could have got at the stripper store. She went on to say it's cute, but she wouldn't be able to get into the water and joked that she might get arrested at the beach. Well, guys, based on these customer reviews, it seems the verdict is in. And if you were at all concerned about a potential wardrobe malfunction, then this might not be the bikini for you based on these reviews. But hopefully this customer feedback gets back to Kylie and hopefully gets taken on board for future drops. And to see why fans think Kylie might be having a boy after releasing her all new Kylie baby promos, click right over here for another clever video. Then be sure to let me know your thoughts on these reviews of Kylie Swim. And if you've purchased a swimsuit yourself, I'm really curious to hear your verdict. So let me know everything in the comments section below. I'm your host, Susan Morad. You can find me on socials at Susan underscore Morad. I'll catch you later. Bye guys.